Hey guys, so there are so many new things at the drugstore right now and unfortunately you know how that goes when the new things come out you see one thing here, two things there, they're not like all in one store. <laughs> so depending on which store you go to uh, you're gonna come across something new. The things that I'm about to show you I bought them at Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Christmas tree shop. So I just kind of was finding things here, there, and everywhere. All right, so I've got my receipts here so I can tell you the prices. Although, you know, prices are going to vary quite a bit from store to store and also different parts of the country. The prices are different. I've been to the same store in two different towns that were right next to each other and one store the items were like a dollar more than they were at the other one so prices can vary quite a bit all right oh my gosh I don't know where to start here there's so many new things out right now that it's kind of overwhelming if you saw yesterday's video then you might remember me talking about the Maybelline Superstay matte ink liquid lipsticks I, at the time, I wasn't really sure um, whether I was going to get any more or not. I thought I would just be happy just having that one color. But after wearing it all day and all night and having it not go anywhere and doing that two days in a row, I wanted to get a couple more because it's so convenient to not have to reapply your lip product once it's on and have it stay on for the day and night. So the one I showed you yesterday was, you know what, just in case you didn't see that video, let me grab that one too. Okay, so the one I had on yesterday's video was called Lover and it's sort of a pinky mauve. And if you want to know about the formula and everything about it, watch that video. I cover pretty much everything in that video. So the other two colors that I just picked up today, this one is called Dreamer and it's just it's just a pink. So it's quite a bit lighter than that other one. And then number five, Loyalist is the nude and it's it's a really pretty nude. It's um, got a little bit of pink to it. I'm wondering if I should do swatches because I know a lot of times if I don't do swatches people complain but you know how long the video would be <laughs> if I did swatches. Alright, you know what, the, the color type products I think I will because then that gives you an idea of what the color looks like against my skin tone just in case you have the same skin tone as me. So yeah, let me do swatches of these. All right, let's start with number five, Loyalist. Wow, I'm really glad I did swatches, you guys, because this is applying Look at the difference in how that applied versus what it looks like in the tube. Wow, so now I'm really glad I picked this up because I was afraid this might be too light. But yeah, that applies way darker. Okay, that's Loyalist. I can't believe that. And then number 10, Dreamer. Okay, this one pretty much looks like what I expected. So that's Dreamer. And I might as well swatch the other one too. So that's Lover. And I believe there are 10 shades total, so there are seven that I don't have. But I figured, you know, it's summer, so I thought these would be appropriate for summer. If uh, these are still around in the fall and winter, maybe then I'll pick up like a red and a burgundy or something. But I kind of like the lighter shades in the summer. I know some people do the opposite. They go bright and dark in the summer. I, I like the lighter shades. 
Okay. Um, I also picked up the Maybelline Superstay Eraser Lip Color Remover. And I said in that video where I reviewed those liquid lipsticks that I didn't have that yet. I have this, but I haven't tried it yet. So I think I'm going to like it though, because it's like a balm. So you just put that on your lips and then take like a tissue and just wipe your lips and your lip product is gone. And then you can reapply and start over. Um, the thing is though, with those liquid lipsticks, they wear evenly so uh but still this would be good to have like in your purse for lipsticks that don't wear evenly so i got that and then what else let's let's do it one brand at a time i saw these today this is maybelline master camo color correcting pen and this is in pink they have a whole bunch of these, all different colors for different things to correct for. I wasn't sure whether to get this one or the peach one because you can pretty much use either one to correct under eye dark circles. I have a bunch of pink correctors already. What sets this apart from the others that I have is the other ones are a bomb type formula. This is a liquid. So very curious to how this is going to be. And it's got an interesting applicator on it too. So you just click it until the product comes up through the little foamy thing and then put that under your eyes and then um, put a concealer over it. So hmm, last time I had a liquid, a pink liquid corrector, I loved it and I used to use it all the time, but it was an expensive one. Um, it was by Benefit. And um, so this is the first time I've ever seen a drugstore one. So can't wait to see how that works out. And then Maybelline has a new mascara called Lash Sensational Curvitude. And this is the washable type. It's not waterproof. And I got it in the shade... What did I get? I don't know. It's it's one of the black ones. I think I think I grabbed blackest black. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So this should be interesting. That is what the wand looks like, and it does. It is like flexible, like so. It has some give to it, but it's it's curved, and then. There's an angle thing there, and then it's curved, and then it has like a comb, two combs, one on each side, and um, I generally like comb type mascaras, and I like Maybelline Lash Sensational, so I can't wait to try this. I, I love it when drugstores come out with new mascaras, and Maybelline is one of the brands that I cannot resist when they come out with new products, because I really enjoy Maybelline. And then let's see, I got one thing from CoverGirl. I was kind of curious about the new foundation that they have, Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins and Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 20, and I got 705 Ivory, which looks like it might be, might be a little light for me. But the other colors looked way, way off. This was the closest thing I mean, if you look at, like, the inside of my arms, it might be okay, but but as far as my face and my neck goes, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this color. The other ones looked really yellow, though, so we'll see. But this is supposed to be full coverage but lightweight, and it's in a pump, which is nice. So I don't know. I haven't watched any videos yet to see what people thought of this, so I kind of... Did that on impulse. I don't even know if it's good or not. Okay, I got some things from L'Oreal. L'Oreal has a new concealer out. It's Infallible Pro Glow. And I do have the foundation, so I will probably um, try this out with the foundation and see how that goes. And I got the sh lightest shade they had, which is number one classic ivory. It looks very yellow, so I don't know about that, but 
We'll see. There's the wand. Ooh, that has that has a strong smell to it, kind of chemically smell. Don't like that about it, but yeah, we'll see. I've I've heard good things about that. The tube is really tiny though. 0.21 fluid ounces, 6.2 milliliters. Wow, that's not a lot of product. Okay, well, we'll see about that. And then, do you remember the L'Oreal Color Riche Mono Eyeshadows that came out last year? Well, they added some colors to the line, and they're all matte, and they're all neutral. And that's a good thing, right? So I picked up a color, couple colors of this. I got 304 Matte It Up, which is this one. And this is what I have as my transition shade today. And I like this a lot. This is really good. Um, it's like a, it's like a light peach. So yeah, this works really well as a transition shade for me. So that's why I got that one. And then the other one I just got today, because a lot of times what I'll do is when I go shopping, I'll buy one of something just to see if I like it first. And then the next day, go back and get another color or two more colors or whatever. Um, so once I knew I liked it, I wanted to get another shade of this. And so I got three, 306 Acro Matte. And this one is sort of a copper, I would say. Wow, that one's really pigmented. I wish I had had this to do my look today because I would have put that in the crease. But since I didn't have that when I did my makeup this morning, I used uh, L'Oreal Infallible Bottomless Java, which is kind of a reddish brown. Not quite a copper, though, but somewhat in the same color family. I would love to have tried those two together, but I will. And then the last thing by L'Oreal is they have a new, new line of eyeshadows out called Infallible Paints Metallics. And I bought one yesterday I got rose chrome and I went back and got the rest of the colors today there's only um, they only come in five colors but here's rose chrome and that is what I have on my lids right now so you know it's it, this is a very subtle shade very natural type color and blends in well with my skin tone so what I did was I used this dry then I wet my brush and added like a second layer wet just to see what the difference would be and it makes it more metallic and foiled looking when you do that. So, but I want to use it both ways. When, if, you use, if you use it dry, it's going to perform just like any other eyeshadow and then it's more foiled and brighter and shiny if you, um, do, uh, if you wet your brush. So that's Rose Chrome. Yeah, see that's not... Okay, there you go. But it, it doesn't really show up too well on my skin tone because it's kind of close. So then the other shades that it comes in is Brass Knuckles which is a, a bronze. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. I like the pattern on the surface of this too. And then this one is caged. And this one is like a, I'm going to say pewter, taupe, a taupe or a pewter, I would say. So 
So that's caged. And then the next one is called Violet Luster. You know, I was going to tell you the prices on all these things, and I didn't do that, did I? You know what? Prices vary so much from state to state and store to store that it wouldn't really help you much to tell you the prices. Okay, Violet Luster. Really pretty. And the last one is called Aluminum Foil. And this is most definitely a silver. And I seem to have run out of fingers there, so I'm going to have to swatch this on the other end. Wow. Okay, the foil effect. Wow. The foil effect on this one seems to be most prominent of the five colors. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to swatch this next to the others though, just so you can see that comparison. Wow. Oh my lord, it's like liquid metal. Okay, so if you're really into the foil effect, then I would say, oh, can you imagine what that's like? Wet? Oh my god. Um, if if you're into that metallic thing. The aluminum foil one is the most prominent for that texture or finish. Finish, that's what I meant. And the rose chrome is the most subtle and natural. And the the caged one that's like taupe and then the bronze one, brass knuckles, those are pretty prominent too. And then this one is just pretty, the violet one. So I like all five of those. Nice job, Mariel. And then I just got um, a couple of NYX lip liners. These aren't new, but I didn't have them. And they went with things that I already have, or they will. Um, I got the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken. I have the liquid lipstick of this, so it kind of makes sense that I would have the lip liner of this. So that's Soft Spoken. And then this is a NYX Slim Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Mahogany. And um, again, I have uh, a lipstick that this is going to look really good with. So that's Mahogany right there. So that's what I got. I can't wait to play with these things. I mean, I have worn one of the Maybelline liquid lipsticks. I, I did that video about them. And then I have on one of the Infallible Paint Metallic eyeshadows now. But the rest of it I haven't used yet. So, oh yeah, and I do have on one of the um, L'Oreal Monos in the uh, transition. So what I will probably do is I will probably do some product review videos on these things and or I will do a get ready with me video or a tutorial and I, I will utilize these in more videos uh, over the course of the next week or so. Now we've got a holiday weekend coming up, 4th of July. and. They gave my husband the day before the holiday, too. So he has Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. So I pr I'm going to try to do a video tomorrow. Try. <laughs> uh, I got some other things I need to do, too, though. So I'm going to try and do a video tomorrow, but then I probably won't be able to do a video again till at least Wednesday. And um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe that's good. It'll give me a chance to really test these things out and form some definite opinions on them. So that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.